Hi, my name is Frank Alvarez. I'm president of the UPA, and I'm going to take a moment and show you how our race grid and match points works for our UPA pool leagues. Race grids are provided to you on your league night paperwork every night that you actually have leagues, but you can also find them under the team and singles guidelines on our website under item 4.4. If you'll simply click on the link, you can find the race grids there as well. Our official race grids for 8, 9, and 10 ball are consistent nationwide, and we actually review the races to make sure that we're providing the best possible handicap for each speed. To give you an example, when a 5 plays a 7 in 9 ball, the 5 nationwide is winning 57% of the time. So that race, we really can't make it much better than that. So to be able to determine the race, you simply look up the official speed, which would be five in this case, and then the seven, then you just line them up and you'll find that it's a four five race. So now that you know how our race grid works and where to find them, let's focus on match points and point splitting. Now every match played in the UPA is worth 10 points. However, the player with the lowest speed has an opportunity to steal points even if they lose the overall match. So take a look at the first match and notice that both players have the same speed, so there is no point split available. However, in match two, Amanda has an opportunity to steal points because she's playing with the lower speed. Her speed's a four, Joshua's speed's a five. As you can see, the end result was that Joshua won all 10 points because in order for a point split to occur, Amanda would have needed to win at least half of her games needed to win the overall match. Moving on to match three, you can see that because both players had the same speed, there was no point split even available. But take a look at match four. Scott, having a speed of six, has an opportunity to steal points even if Scott loses the match because Brandon has a speed of nine. And remember, only the player with the lowest speed ever has an opportunity to steal points. All point splits are a three seven split, meaning the player who won the match with a higher speed would get seven, but the player with the lower speed who stole points would get three. Keep in mind if a point split is available and the player with the lower speed actually reaches the games they need to win the match, they get the full 10 points. The player with the highest speed or higher speeds never have an opportunity to steal points. Not only do point splits help the player with the lower speeds in a handicapping system, but it also ensures that the player with the higher speed will play their game so that they don't lose valuable points. Thank you for watching. Be sure to share this video with your teammates and we look forward to evolving your game.